Good morning! Yes, it's Monday and we got so much happening today. By the way, I will answer the question you all have right now. Paul, what are you doing here today? What are you doing in general? Well, we're developing an estate. We're developing an estate, a place, a beautiful place. And uh, we got lots of stuff going on here. So, as for today, we got clearing driveway brush for where the driveway is going to be going. So we're going to try to clear the rest of that. We got guys chipping. We got guys finishing the roof. We got excavators coming later today. We got a porta potty coming, dumpster being taken away. We just got stuff happening. Lots of people here today, lots of things going on. So the weather's supposed to be good today, tomorrow, Wednesday. Um, we're gonna have forestry mulching going on. Just a ton, a ton of work. So I'll try to give you a look at some of the things as we work on them. I'm here before everybody else kind of got here, but I uh, just want to kind of plan out the day. So stick around, don't go anywhere. All right, guys, I was just walking the property here a little bit. And what I'm going to show you might grow some people out, so don't look at it. Um, it's sad, but I'll show it to you. So if you don't like grotesque things, don't look at it. So I just found this guy. It looks like he just passed away. I, it looks like, um, I don't know. It's a... Uh, it looks like a male, old male, poor guy. Uh, sad. So I gotta figure out what to do with him today, but he was just right in this little area where we've been working, not too far off the road. I just kind of walked in here because I wanted to <sighs> see this little opening. And this is a trail he used constantly, I know, because I've seen him here and there's a tree stand here so and just a ghost to show you dear creatures of habit poor guy gotta figure out what to do with him now my friends my friends this is where the driveway is gonna be we've cleared a path the guys with the excavators are gonna take care of the rest we'll get all this brush out but I'm gonna kind of walk right here so this is the old driveway and what I'm doing I'm making a turn, making a turn. So instead of going that way where it went and kind of got washed off, we're turning and going diagonally to a larger opening. So it'll kind of go through the woods. It's gonna look much better and it's gonna be just a nice scenic entry as well. So we have probably about a 200 more, 100 more feet to clear it down that way. So we did some more mulching this morning, all through here, just cleaning this lane up everything we can get so my uh, Artem is taking the tire off on the other the side we're gonna pump it up it's a little flat and then pull it up and get more of this but force is looking nice all this fresh mulch it's looking nice so hopefully we'll see I think they can get majority of this cleaned out today so pipes are here I got five more coming today those are 24 I got five 12 15, 16 15 inch ones coming and then um the guys they finished up the small little roof on the barn so i got all of them cleaning uh the brush up with all these trees you can see them way down there chipping away so we're gonna get this portion of the woods all through here cleaned out and vladimir is uh clean, clearing the driveway so things are coming along it's looking good
My friends, look at this. We have made a path for the future driveway, just about. We're making these piles of trees. We're gonna go between that sycamore and over there, so I have to clear that path, but Vladimir doing it all here today. We got all this to clear out, but the main path just about cleared. We we got a bunch done from the other side, and this is the, from this side. You can see the road. So we're just about connected. I think we're gonna connect today. Here we are. The guys just left. This is what they were working on. This is what it looked like, and that's what it looks like now. They did quite a bit of work. I mean, you could see it's just probably a good. 100 feet, 200, 150 probably, right here, just really cleaned it out, looks nice, but the chipper stopped working, so I don't know, gotta figure out what's going on with it, it was running, then just stopped working, it has fuel, has everything, I gotta troubleshoot now. So this is the entrance. This is gonna be the main entrance right here. And we clear it all the way back inside there, you can see. And it's gonna go past the left side of the sycamore tree. And I'm gonna drive around and show you from that side as well. And this is from this side, halfway. You can see the dumpster out there. And this is where the um, driveway's gonna kinda go through. And in um, it's gonna, that's where the bridge I had. And this is the creek. So it's gonna kind of come up to the creek and then turn, go past me here and up through there. And I'll show you from that one spot, looking back from back there. And this is looking from the end here where it kind of meets up with the whole driveway. So we're going through the woods, kind of going to the creek and then back out to the main line there. And um, as you can see, here's the French Creek. And then we meet up right here with the old driveway and this goes back to the barn so it's pretty cool it looks nice already and I picked the route so I wouldn't have to take big trees down I took a few trees down right here that were like cherry trees but other than that it was just shrubs and nothing special so it's a perfect route left all the nice big woods surrounding the driveway and back at the barn this is what it got completed today this little uh, roof right here so the barn is completely done i'm gonna try to see if i can give you a view from the side here yeah there it is so you could see uh, these branches here right there we had to put some new boards in there but it looks good and from the other side from the other side I'll walk around this way Walking, walking, walking. Let's see here. Right there. So, looks okay, I would say. Uh, I think it looks nice. Howdy. You caught me drinking my tea. <laughs> oh. What a day! Popped my shoulder out, have a pulled back muscle. Um, what else? Uh, got up super early. I thought they were gonna come take the dumpster away. They still haven't taken the dumpster away. Um, the covert pipes came in the morning, got those unloaded. Um, gravel supposed to come today didn't come they said they're gonna deliver first thing in the morning tomorrow I have five six seven like ten loads of gravel coming tomorrow morning I have equipment is coming the excavator guys are coming to start excavating the driveway tomorrow morning I have uh, I ordered a bunch of decking material to build a deck on the side of the barn coming a lot of stuff coming tomorrow morning so it's gonna be another early rise 
um, super busy day. But uh, today we got a lot done. We had three things going on. Chipping, we got a, a lane for the driveway where it's going to be cleared. All the trees cut down and we finished up. Andre came out, finished up the little roof here. So it was good. It was a good day. Now, no more telling you what we've done. You guys seen what we've done. We had a tragedy today. We found a deer. The buck. That's the buck I wanted to shoot. He has a huge rack. That's a 12-point buck. Nice old buck. I've been watching him all winter, fall. I had him on all the cams, pictures. Ah, and I found him dead today. He lay down. He like died last night or the night before. Looks like he just passed away from old age. Stinks. I wanted to get him this hum coming up hunting season. It's a tragedy. So I don't know. Hopefully some other. I have a few other bucks here, but you know, I gotta let him grow a little bit. The little little eight pointer bucks. That was a nice guy. Got a nice rack. Okay. This is what I want to say. The thought of the day. I gotta have a thought of the day. I've been thinking about this over the weekend. Um, I was talking to my father-in-law. He said, well, I said, I was like, it's interesting how things work out. I feel like I have stuff crawling over me because I've been in the woods all day, so maybe. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I was telling him, I mentioned, I said, it's funny how things in life turn out. At the moment, you don't expect it. Things kind of work themselves out. So, um, and kind of, you, you feel like, you know, something, someone is looking out for you. And I don't know, something or someone, I, I well, I believe in God, you know, I believe God sees all people, you know, who's needy, who's, who has whatever situations in life, but I think it's uh, also a lot to do with a blessing in your life from your parents, from your grandparents, from the people that surround you. So I think it's a good practice to, to you know, wish people blessings because I feel like I, I experienced that in my life a lot. Because a lot of things, they work out work out in such ways that you just, you're like, man, how, how does this happen to me, you know, all the time? And I think it's a huge part of my parents constantly praying for me, my in-laws, and just the people that are around me. And that goes back to, you know, what I was saying about uh, just the last video about having good people around you that are going to look out and have your back. So, because those people bless you. But more importantly, you got to be able to bless other people, you know. And I think I've been doing very little of that. I've been very selfish. And so, I want to wish you guys all the blessings in the world. And hopefully, hope that, you know, everything works out in your guys' life. I know people have difficult situations, but, um, yeah, I want to send my blessings out to everybody my relatives my close friends and anybody else who's watching so god bless and see you tomorrow